The Irrigation Scheduler Mobile Program was developed by Dr. Troy Peters, Washington State University. It uses AgriMet crop water use data and user-defined inputs for crop and soil parameters and irrigation to estimate the depth of water available for plant use in the crop root zone on a daily basis. Information from one of several screens can be used to determine when and how much to irrigate to avoid crop water stress. The first step in using this program is establishment of a user account on the Washington State University Ag Weather Network. The easiest way to access the WSU Ag Weather Network website would be to type in weather.wsu.edu in the address bar at the upper left hand corner of your screen. Once you are at the Ag Weather Network home page, you can scroll down to the registration portion of the screen and establish a user account. To do this, first click on Sign Up. This brings up a new screen where you enter the information to create your own user account. In this case, I would enter Howard Niebling, and then I would enter a username. In this case, I would enter B-N-E-I-B-L-I-N-G. And now I need to enter a password for this account. It must be at least six characters, and it must contain only letters and numbers, and not have any spaces. Then I will confirm the password. You will also need to enter an email contact address and then confirm it. Next, you need to supply an organization name. I will put UI Kimberly. The address in this case would be 3806 North, 3600 East, and then Kimberly, Idaho. 83341. The remaining things that must be done are to scroll down to the bottom of this screen and agree to the terms of service as listed above. I agree to those conditions. The second question regards using information commercially. I'm not using information or products based on Ag Weather Net data commercially, so I'm going to say no. Then you can click subscribe. You are now registered so you can go ahead and log on to the account using the information that was previously entered. Login name and password. That brings up the same screen we saw earlier but some additional information is now listed on the left hand side that can now be accessed. The next step would be to access Irrigation. When we click on Irrigation, we then have the choice of an Irrigation Scheduler or Irrigation Scheduler Mobile, which is the device we're going to use. This concludes the video for creating an account on the Washington State University Ag Weather Network. The next video will cover logging into the Irrigation Scheduler mobile application and entering field information to actually get started on irrigation scheduling.